if you are waking and eating and sleeping in this three dimensional life then you might as well admit to its challenges and difficulties and acknowledge that there is such thing as mass and you know you can't walk through walls it can happen but that's a whole other way of looking at the world so if the body is all i know you know i feel that i know that's my leg the anything real it's your body everything else can be a massive figment of your imagination the brain is capable of a lot so how then to know your body intimately that was the quest and we are distilled as they have in me now the practices they are just absolutely amazing and what they do to you you know the core precept is very simple and you've read the description that i have put up earlier that you become a super aware individual now like everything else in life awareness is a two way street it's like a tree it can only go as high as its roots can go deep or wide there's no width we are limited at some level but deep we can go as deep as we need to so the idea is to go deep into your body and it's really such a natural and or well, not easy but very natural unfoldment as you dive into your body as to how it's all connected so a new understanding of your body is the key to awareness our senses are resident in our body and as aware and tingly as they are with how well or how well we will be even the so called sixth sense awareness in the back of your head and like any other road that leads inwards or backwards it is backwards by the way because we are made of the layers that wound around and wound around and wound around the start point practice of going back or going inwards makes you confront all of those things that are wound up in your body in different places that you had no idea you and you start to untie the knots but it goes much deeper than that in a world that is increasingly starting to lack awareness now we are so assaulted by a lot of volume and i'm guilty of it a little bit like this but
for everything, space, I'm just feeling the noise pollution. Everything is over excited. Another big part of the practice is slowing down. Because to my mind, in this environment, slowing down is speeding up. We have to start living in the moment and not in the momentum. And that's what this practice brings you to. And it's very individual, by the way, for each person. But the broad path is the same. And I'm still very much on the journey myself. But I'm happy to have some cohorts, variously skilled, variously informed, variously enthusiastic, variously talented, but all with that one central question in their minds about figuring this out. Once you start working from your center, the only way you can do that is being aware of where it is. You start to be like that salmon swimming up river. You know, there is a current that you can tap into in yourself. where everything becomes really effortless. Music is a big part of that practice because without rhythm and frequency there would be nothing. And if your heart beats, you have rhythm in you. And if you can reach it, you can play. So on the spiral path, that is what, that is the mastery that you're looking at. <clears throat> it's the mastery over the self which is nothing more than total awareness of the Self. There are these really amazing physical exercises that 
at least for me, have been such a revelation in terms of what working in feels like as opposed to working out. I worked out for many years, much to my detriment, by the way. And as I look around, I think much to the detriment of the people I see working out, honestly. By working in, oh, it's almost constant. faculty of speech and the database of language has to be perfected if you are to be the effortless worker in this world. <laughs> 